Hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my latest photography addiction. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography, then this channel is for you. Do check out the rest of my videos and if you like them, please do consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you can always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Now, if this is your first time in the channel, then I do suggest that you check out the rest of my videos first because that will actually have something to do with what I am talking about today. Now, what I'm talking about here is basically how I record the live view of my camera with the help of this new toys that I've actually considered to be like Lego for photographers. What do I mean about my live view? In other words, I am actually shooting using my camera and I am recording everything that my camera is seeing. I do that for you guys to be able to see basically all my camera settings, how it looks like before there was light and after it was light. And these are mostly SOC or straight out of camera. Now, I do that with the help of this one. This is my Atomos Ninja V. What is this Atomos Ninja V? Basically, it is a media recorder. It's an external monitor that's connected to this camera via HDMI that records on an SSD drive like this one that I put here in the back of the camera. Now, you can see that my Atomos Ninja V also has a cage from small rig. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, it's like Lego. I'm able to put everything together using the help of this one, the small rig accessories. So I can put in this one, I'll show you how I use it later and how I put everything together in order for it to be as portable as possible. Now, as you can see here, I have my Atomos Ninja V enclosed in a small rig cage. The reason why I want a cage here is so that I have a lot of attachment points and attachment points here also. The important thing about this two here is that is where I actually put an external microphone because I need to be able to sync the audio of what I am saying to the recording of my camera. Now, the problem is my camera won't record unless I actually set it on video mode. But obviously, since I am shooting photos, it is not on video mode. Therefore, there is no audio signal that's coming out and it's being recorded here in my Atomos. So it's going to be a very difficult time for me to be able to sync it. That's why I have here a Hollyland microphone that I put here. That's why don't you just love this, this small rig attachment. It allows me to put all these things. And I have the microphone here and it is connected directly to the Hollyland monitor so I can have audio synced to my lapel that I am recording in a different camera. So with this one, I actually attach another one here. This is a tilting bracket also from small rig. And it's a hot shoe, it's a hot shoe mount that allows me to tilt the monitor to whatever direction that I want. It's a tilt and swivel attachment. So this is where it is attached. It is attached in the middle of my camera. It's normally attached on the hot shoe mount. But since my hot shoe normally has my, my trigger here, I have to attach it here to the side, like so. So when it's attached here, I can now swivel the monitor or tilt it back depending on how I need it to be. Now, if I have my attachment here, let's say I have my, my um, uh, trigger here, I also have the option to use these things. This is like basically like a ball head, a dual ball head that can attach directly to the bottom of my Atomos. That's why it's essential that I have the small rig cage here so that I can attach multiple attachments like this one, multiple accessories. I can use this one and attach them here and basically have another way of just articulating the screen to where I want it to go. Like I can move it forward like that 
so that the weight is evenly distributed in front. There we go. Then, I also have a smaller version of this one, this one. So in case that I don't want to use this bulky one, I can always just use this one. See? It's like Lego for, for, for photographers. To be honest, uh, you might say as a pure photographer, you might not need any of these things. The small rig things were actually built for video. But right now, a photographer is more or less a hybrid photographer already. We do content creation, we do videos once in a while, and this small rig cage really does help a lot. You can see I have other attachments here also. I have a base plate here also that attaches to my tripod so that I can shoot vertically. I also have another base plate here so I can shoot horizontally. So these are also from small rig and it's attached to the cage so that it's very easy for me to do vertical shooting. Okay. So that's basically how I record my, my live view. I use my Atomos Ninja V and it's connected via HDMI here to my camera. And basically the heart and soul of everything is really all these little things from small rig that allows me to really just play around and attach everything to the camera. If you see, I actually have a lot of attachments here. I'm gonna get a case for this one of these days because I'm actually getting more and more um, stuff from, from this company. It's actually very addicting. That's why I call it my latest addiction because it's not just my shooting camera that has a cage. Also, my cameras that shoot the videos have cages in it so that it's easy for me to mount the mics or if I need to mount an external transmitter. There's just so many options that this cage allows you to do with all the accessories that Small Rig is selling. Okay, so don't forget, there are more videos in the channel to see how I actually use this whenever I am teaching one light photography or speed light photography or just lighting in general. So if you enjoyed that or if you enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see some of the images that I've, I've created, feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.